Speaker, I'm very pleased to be able to take my place uh, as the critic for infrastructure, transportation and highways and speak to this important Opposition Day motion. And while I'm glad that the Minister of Transportation has been participating in the debate, I would have loved to have heard the government uh, have a little more understanding of what the needs are across our communities. And as, as a member that represents a riding in the Durham region, um, we have the esteemed privilege of being the only region with that 407 East, um, that part of the 407 that's provincially owned that is still told, the 412 and 418 that are provincially, uh, had been provincial toll roads. I had introduced a private member's bill supported by the broad Durham region, and four years later, the government did take those tolls off. And so the only portion of provincial highways right now that are still tolled uh, are indeed in Durham region. Um, so, Speaker, this is a government that has a bill on the table. Uh, they've, they've hopefully named it the Getting Done Act, um, but it doesn't get anything done for the people in Durham region. It doesn't get anything done for the folks across the province who are interested in having the toll conversation, are interested in having the public infrastructure conversation. They want to be safe on the 401 if they're stuck in traffic. They want to be able to get to work or to school or home to their families and their loved ones um, and just keep moving. And part of the challenge on the 401 is the congestion. Uh, are the is the truck traffic. And anyone who has been uh, in bad weather or been in traffic on the 401 knows that they have felt quite nervous um, at, at one point or another with all of the trucks on the highway. And here we are with a thoughtful motion in front of us, an Opposition Day motion, which for the folks at home is a chance for the opposition to say, here is a good idea that we want this government to pick up and run with. We want this to be an, a, an important conversation that we have and move forward with it. And the Opposition Day motion we're debating is to remove the tolls from the 407 for transport trucks. And if that were to happen, if they were able to drive on the 407 without paying the exorbitant tolls, then what we understand from industry, what we understand from safety experts, is that those trucks more and more of them would be off of the 401 corridor and onto the 407. And if that were to happen, we end up with a win-win situation, that we have the supply chain, uh, that we've got folks in industry able to more predictably move their goods, that they are not, that more and more of their trucks will be stuck, will not be stuck in traffic on the 401. I think it would be an improvement for safety. And I think that all of the things that we have talked about in this House today when it comes to the 407, about the underutilization of this, you know, of this infrastructure, about the ability um, to, to differently utilize that space, keep folks flowing and going, I don't understand why the government is unwilling to have that conversation. Speaker, certainly in Durham Region, people have been talking about this for a while about how to better utilize that public infrastructure. Um, I have here from March uh, of last year, Clarington seeks relief from heavy truck traffic. The municipality of Clarington is calling on the province to make Highway 407 toll-free for heavy trucks carrying aggregates in North Durham. And this was a specific ask. They said, as the provincial government is prioritizing new housing development, Therefore, the municipality of Clarington is asking the Ontario government to waive toll fees on Highway 407 for heavy trucks carrying construction materials in North Durham for a trial period of one year. Let's get these heavy trucks off our rural roads. And it goes on to say these big heavy trucks want to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, so Highway 407 makes all the sense in the world, said Clarington Mayor Adrian Foster. Well, Speaker, that was a, a point in time to solve a problem, and the government wasn't interested in that. But it's been an idea for a long time. I have stood in this House and I have shared that not too long ago um, the region of Durham had reached out to this government and, and said that because of construction on Winchester and road closures on Columbus Road in Brooklyn, so a specific area kind of North Whitby, because of, of a lot of construction happening, that they were looking for 
a temporary relief of tolls so that again we could we, we are predicting this this major backlog and problem with construction and here is a, a this is just temporary and they ask and what it says is quote the ministry of transportation is not considering subsidizing or removing tolls for use of highway 47 at this time came a response from the Ministry of Transportation on February 6th. That was like a week later, just a quick turnaround. The government was not willing to work with municipal partners to remove tolls, even temporarily. And here we are, uh, again, raising the fact that while this is not a local issue, it's local for everyone that drive, that, for every person that drives on the 407. They want, they want to get where they're going, and every single person who's driving on the 401 wants to get where they're going predictably, safely, quickly. And this government is just so committed to their, you know, Highway 413, and we've talked a bit about that today. But that's, that's look, I, I don't like it. I'll say it. I don't want the 413. You guys might love it. You'll say that there are other people who do. The ones I talk to don't. Regardless, the 413 is not a solution for the next 10 years at best, right? So in the interim, what are you doing? We've got a highway that is, we have heard about um, in the past, and granted, this was an unusual circumstance, but a plane landed on it in an emergency. Yeah. A small plane was able to land because there was enough room, right? That is not a crowded, congested highway. That is, uh, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to differently utilize uh, that road. Speaker, there are benefits to having the trucks beyond that 407. And I think if the folks in this room, I think if the minister who you know is from Brampton, uh, he knows, other members know that the trucking industry has an important voice and they have been asking for uh, for supports, right? This is a piece that would make a real difference for them to be able to move their trucks predictably. So I remember being, and this was a long time, this was before uh, General Motors, well, this is before that General Motors chapter, um, but I had been visiting and they had a, a screen that had all of their products and where they were traveling. So the trucks that were moving the new, uh, new vehicles all around the place. And you'd better believe that they keep they keep tabs on where their product is going and when it's being delivered and, and all of that. And I did, I asked them, just sort of off the cuff, you know, the 407 is fairly far north from, from this route, but would it ever make sense for you to go there? Is there a, kind of a sweet spot in what that would cost if it was a reduced rate? If it were cheaper, would you put your trucks up there? And they were very interested in that because trucks full of product, in this case vehicles, but it could be any product, stuck in traffic is not good for anyone. Not good for the environment, not good for business, not good for all of the people stuck in traffic with them. And this government is not interested in having this conversation, which I find fascinating. And the member before me took us back and gave us a, a history lesson. Um, you know, back in the 90s, the, the uh, illustrious conservative government of that day, the Harris Conservatives, sold off this public infrastructure, sold off the 407 for a song. It wasn't actually a song. It was, was it $3 billion? Which was never a lot. Um, now we have a government that is willing to let a billion dollars slip through their fingers in congestion penalties that the 407 has owed us. And if people don't remember that, that was a billion dollars that contractually, uh, because the 407 ETR had not met its obligation, owed the province. And, you know, according to the FOI documents that, um, that folks pulled from that time, there were conversations with the government, and it, however it was decided, the government did not did not make them have to pay that. We turned our backs on a billion dollars. I didn't know that was the kind of money we could just, you know, wave our hands and say, ah, don't worry, pick up lunch next week. Terrible. Right? That's a billion dollars. 
But there were other opportunities during that, whether it was renegotiation or sit down with 407 ETR. And this government didn't take that opportunity, according to the FOI uh, documents that were, um, were pulled from that time. The government wasn't even talking to them about reducing the tolls or forgiving tolls or anything to do with the experience of drivers. What a missed opportunity. We've talked, we've remembered in debate today that the 407 ETR used to uh, chase people for their overdue bills, right, and, and had a garbage way of billing that people would not know that they were in arrears and then all of a sudden their bill would go from whatever it was, $200 to 6000 kind of thing, um, which was which is obviously problematic. No one's arguing it isn't. But now the province, like we're the bill collectors. The province is the heavy. Right? Because isn't it the case, someone correct me if I'm wrong, can't that you can't renew your license. your license if you have an outstanding right. 407 bill, right? So we are the enforcers. We're the collection Not agency. Do you don't think we have any leverage? You don't think that we could start a conversation that goes something like, hey, you want your money? Let's sit down and have a conversation. Right. Remember we forgave you that billion dollars? Want to talk? Oh, and by the way, side note, just a little think aloud. If now we have automatic license renewals, does that mean we don't have to pay 407 bills, or is the government going to come to your house? Like, how are you going to collect that? Just that's a logistical question. No. So, Speaker, what we have here is an opportunity. We have an opportunity for this government to say, you know what, opposition, this is a good idea. This is a good idea to have a conversation with the operators of the 407 and say, people are not getting, this is, we're not using this infrastructure the way that we should. And what we would like is indeed to take the tolls off for transport trucks. We want to shift our traffic patterns. We want to keep people flowing and going, being safe, getting home to their families, getting where they need to go. Here's a perfect opportunity, a way to start that conversation. And I would encourage the government to, to make this happen and take the tolls off the 407 for transport trucks in the province of Ontario. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.